Higher monthly premiums for outpatient coverage await many Medicare beneficiaries next year, the government says. The additional expense will eat away at an increase in their Social Security checks. The news about Part B premiums was buried in the fine print of a notice issued late Friday afternoon by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. For many seniors living on fixed incomes this could be a concern, said Tricia Newman, an expert on the Medicare program at the nonpartisan Kaiser Family Foundation. People who are expecting an increase in their Social Security checks because of the cost of living adjustment may be disappointed. Although the standard Part B premium will stay the same next year, $134 a month, many beneficiaries will still have to pay more. That's because their Social Security checks are going up 2% after several years of little or no cost of living raise. Many of those affected are now paying $109 a month, so they'll owe $25 more. The government DIDNT released specific estimates of the number of people will be paying the higher rates. By law, increases in the Part B premium count exceed increases in Social Security benefits. But several years of low inflation have put a damper on Social Security cost of living adjustments. Medicare responded by keeping premiums stable for many beneficiaries. But now that Social Security checks are growing again, so will premiums. Medicare's announcement said the Part B deductible will stay same next year, $183. That's the annual amount patients pay for medical services before Medicare coverage kicks in. But the inpatient Part A deductible will go up by $24 to $1,340. Many seniors purchase private insurance to cover their Medicare deductibles and co-payments. But the monthly Part B premium is paid by most beneficiaries, except those with very low incomes. It's generally deducted from retirees' Social Security checks. The late Friday afternoon time slot is often used by the government for unwelcome announcements.